Hello guys, a British Fox here. Today with another video. Now we are going to be seeing which build will be really best for my ascension to hopefully back to rank 10. As <clears throat> that will be a fun little title to regain as for Lieutenant. Maybe we could try out a new deck altogether for the next video. But for now, let's stick with the classic. So we've done so with US RT as of recent, and we could try our War Economy. Long swords quite effective. Cogs of the machine and then least were my early good ones. Ghost Division is a fun one. Molotov Ribbon Shop is kind of decent, and Artillery Man's Dream is the predecessor and alternative version to my Soviet Sarty. I think for now you're going to be doing Longsword. That way we have a nice quick build that can go on the offensive. That way we can't be caught off guard. Now my only concern really are Blitz builds. Blitz builds are quite annoying to deal with. And I'm considering either making my own Blitz build effectively or even doing, let's say, more anti-Blitz measures in my builds, but it's catch-22 with making decks. You can't focus on one thing entirely. Okay, so we're going to remove 20 second infantry. Gonna... With Panzer Grenadier, we have to get down one play. Okay, not bad, but still annoying. So my hope is to get the 5th infantry out. Hopefully he's not going to go for a bombing build, as I hate the Brits. Pin deck. Okay, so our hope is that we can So it's probably gonna use it as a blockade. Yeah. Smart play, but there's always gonna be more where that came from. Sadly that does disrupt my plans of it. Oh you're kidding me. Okay. Way to be fun. So we're gonna bring out the Africa Regiment. Then next time we shall use the Falchion Jäger. That I got it right. Well, hopefully more right than Falchion Jäger is why I was originally pronouncing it due to my English. So it's Falchion Jäger. Oh, Kitty Hawk. You know. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Okay, we can still give a target for him to shoot at. I'm hoping he doesn't have naval op, but he could have naval op, honestly. Oh, a skewer. Skewers are pains. That's for sure. And. It's best just to bring out the panther. Hands! Start, like, start the panzer. <laughs> the pampa. It would be a panzer. <laughs> yeah. Might be Fritz. I mean, Fritz is quite a common German name too. Can't target it with orders. <laughs> I think he's just realised that. And if he wants to keep that bomber. Oh no. <gasps> One damage. Oh, the pain I <laughs> I'm experiencing. <laughs> I bet you like nah. It, luckily he doesn't have Soviets which would allow for critical hit. Okay, so next turn we are going to just kill Okay, that's okay. There. Uh, kill the bomber. Gonna bring it for the Falchion. What's he planning? Because he can't target it with orders. Oh, this poor soul. I I I'm sorry, my friend. My enemy, to be more exact, but. You're dead! <coughs> I feel cruel, but 
That's the way the world must work. Okay, so we could deal, what, 15 damage to them next turn? Luckily he doesn't have any hurricanes in his decks, which are interesting and effective British units. Pain to deal with sometimes, but yeah. Okay, another Spitfire. Mm. Yeah, that's that's kind of not fun. To be honest, but... I know that I can keep my frontline advantage with this. And he's going to have to sacrifice a lot of units to kill this panther. And then here's the fun part. We bring out another panther. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, so he's got one with our knowledge. Okay. That's a bit annoying. That's for sure. Okay. Well, we know it's probably going to try and take the front line, honestly. So we'll do this, and ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> this is a fun little one. The Act Bomber, too. Uh, the Act Bomber, yeah. Because the J's are pronounced like Y's. I also realise that now I've been pronouncing uh, Yacht Panfa wrong. Hmm. I'm awfully sorry for that, honestly. I feel like I'm some sinner of sorts. I don't really want to. Ooh, Monty. Wait. <sighs> Damn it. Oh wait, does he not have any surprise attack yet? Left? Does he have one? Did he... Did he do that? Without considering, like... I think he did. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, he's just choosing... Was he getting out of Cromwell? I mean, Cromwell's would be the best to capitalise on this, but... I can't think of any other British unit. Oh, he did it to the Wellington. Okay. I, I, I'm awfully sorry, but... It's going back where it belongs. <laughs> okay. Bit of a cruel play, but if he's gonna be playing Wellingtons like that, Wellingtons, ugh. Can't speak German, can't speak English. That's me. <laughs> then I have to bring out the Leopold. I also do feel rather silly now upon my realization about Jagd Panthers. But we learn in the end. We learn in the end. See? Learn. My ear. Yeah? Ugh. Shall rule the land <laughs> alongside the loose Fafa and the Kriegsmarine. Even though, actually, yeah, that deck does have Bismarck in which I love to have the Kriegsmarine. I don't actually think I've got any A units in that deck. Hmm. Who should? Uh, MBs, are they? Or oh, BFs? Oh, I can't remember the name. No, MS, like a Messerschmitt, I believe. Okay, this is a good little first turn play, yeah. Okay, so we start off with the 4 6 third. We follow up with the Panzer. Actually, no. We take the front line. Hmm. You know what? We'll wait. Go confidently take the front line. Okay. I shall not 
allow you to take the front line then. I'll do this just in case, that's all. Yeah, the force spurred me great aggro. Ooh, I am not enjoying that. I don't really have quick units get. Okay, so Tiger Aes gonna be the best play here. Gonna bring out both these because he's probably gonna advance the um, Greyhounds forward. Yep. Thank you for giving me all those cards. Like. All those cards. And now, if I deploy. Hmm. Ah, that my auto cannon. I need a combo which will allow me to kill this and bring out a unit quickly. Right now, it's worth it just just for that one minor victory. Now it's probably going to get killed off by the artillery, but at least it's occupying them. Oh, you're kidding me! Yeah, I I don't even blame at this right. But, if I use my first marines, play these, and boom, okay, buffs are gone. Then, move these to the front line, get the smoke screen, bring out the infantry reg maybe. Ooh, oh. yeah. He was packing it for the end. Good play, annoying play. But yeah, well played. Well, on to the next match then. I just call that one defeat defeat us entirely. As we have, may have lost the battle, but we certainly won't win. We shall win, I mean, Germans don't win, but you know, it's winning the war, and that's our goal. <laughs> That would be great at making inspirational uh, speeches. <laughs> That'd be like the opposite. I mean, Patton wasn't too convincing, but you know, he beat you basically if you did not follow his orders, so. Kind of the opposite of Patton, but you're not scared of him. <laughs> and just do not want to follow the orders, so. Hmm. Okay, El Alamein. El Alamein. Ugh. Okay, remove, remove, keep, uh, keep just in case. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, Leopold's not really good for a starting hand, but it's good to keep now. Ooh, German resistance. And these builds I'm always iffy. Like, he might blitz in next turn, so I'm keeping that just in case. If he doesn't, then we shall use the Africa Core. He's capitalizing on this resistance thing. This dreaded resistance. Okay, so we're gonna do this. And we're gonna take these out while possible. Let's see what his move then. Pinter. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that must have been painful. <laughs> I just need to be able to keep my final tactics strike now. Ah, uh, leave a little resistance. Please deploy another unit. No. Did you forget that this has a second strike capability? 
Uh, yeah, I think he forgot. Good play, forgot this talk. Okay, we're dealing with these resistances as if you let them go out of hands, they can just cheese it for extra defense from liberation. And also the new the resistance card, which gives damage based upon units in enemy hand. I mean, not units, and number of cards in enemy hands. So that can be powerful to keep filling your hands up. Which means you can't conserve your units as much either. And also orders. Okay, Africa Core. Africa Core. Bomber. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's something. Uh, too bad I can't do one damage to this, kill it off, use the Arado, and then bring this to the field, but... He at least won't be killing my... or damaging my HQ. Now, uh, he could have entrapped... Okay, that's definitely an entrapment play, there's no doubt about that. So, we shall simply say, we're not going to fall for it. Bring out the Africa Core. And it may be fun just having two order cannons. And then, simply deploying one unit will deal four damage to HQ. Might be a good finisher. Might just some like Mortal, Com Mortal Kombat voice now. And maybe a slight German accent. <laughs> okay. So he's going to take advantage of that. Which means if we do this, this, ooh, we'll buff this and we'll bring out the Volksgrenadier. Volks, Volksgrenadier, Volksgrenadier. Now, hopefully, he doesn't target my 4 6 first as I'm planning to use them as the bait. Okay, annoying. I, I, I am seriously curious why he did not just... It, it's still gonna... Oh, it's a fighter. It was a bomber all along. That explains some things. <laughs> that really does explain some things to me in the end. Okay. So we're going to deploy another auto cannon, and then maybe bring out the infantry regiment. Yeah, okay, he's bringing out panthers. And what is this? Well, I have no resistance cards in hand, so thank you. Ooh. Oh, it's a bomber. Okay, so I can damage it with that, take advantage of my frontline superiority, and do enemy spots just in case he somehow finds a way to do that. And take my frontline. But now I have two auto cannons, which are going to be lovely. Leopold. Yeah. Did make me ditch one of my. You know, what? here's Leopold back. <laughs> we can do this all day. I really don't give a damn. Let's get an order in here. Do this. I probably should have done the auto cannon first because I'm thinking of the next move, but. We'll create a bit of a priority target and then he won't know what it hits him. It hits him. Ugh. So now he's got a free free artillery unit, which 
Can't do much. So I'm not playing back and forth for my Leopold anymore. <laughs> Kriegsmarine. Ooh, that's that's a bit of a hit. He's got entrapment. <sighs> Lucky for me, we have one of the best little cards in the game. Weapon. Bring out the auto cannon. Attack the base. So we've turned the tides. We shall turn the tides yet again if he brings out something powerful. Like the tiger. Ugh. Go on. Show me what you've got. Ooh, Hones. If you get Bismarck or in his hands, I'm doomed. A bit annoying, but actually, yeah, you know, that, that's not gonna uh, damage you, man. And then artillery and an arado finish, just just for fun. <laughs> Ooh, the double auto cannons are so fun at times, yeah. There's even much, but I got two Leopolds at one point. I don't think I actually managed to record it, but this one that surprised me with one Leopold and then follow up with the next. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe as always, so that way you can suggest con content. Um, show me you like it, and show me you want more. And always, and most importantly, have fun. Bye for now, and hope to see you soon.